Okay. I am going to make a quick tutorial on how to use texture sets in uh, Maya to Substance Painter. So, the way that I do it, I'm not sure if there's an alternative, is I go into my Hypershade window and I create uh, Lamberts. And since I have three cubes that I'm going to be using, I will make three Lamberts. And I'm going to go into my viewport, uh, select them all, and rearrange the graph. Here we'll name them cube one, which names the Lambert, but to change the shader name, I will name it cube one. Oops, <laughs> cube one, sure. And we'll name the second Lambert cube two, this guy cube two, and cube three with cube three. So the reason I'm adding names to the shader is because this is the name which will come up in the texture set under Substance Painter. I'm going to close that out and assign this material cube one, cube two, and cube three. If you're working with a lot of visual clutter, it might help you to go into the Lambert and change the default colors so you know which ones are which. Cube two will be yellow, cube one will be red, and cube three will be green. Shows you right here, three, two, one. And let's say I wanted to change this to cube three's color or texture set, I could in here. Before I do anything else, I'm going to grab all three of these guys and I'm going to, oops, I'm in the rigging. I'm going to mesh, combine them and delete history. So now I have this one cube, but there are three texture sets within it. I'm gonna go to my UV editor, check out the UVs. Obviously it's just a bunch of cubes, so I don't really have to do anything. And I'm going to export the selection as an FBX. We'll export it as cube example. And in substance, we'll do new PBR metal uh, metallic roughness, document resolution 2048. Personally, that's what I use. I'm going to go into my folder and navigate to my project where my FBX was saved. Go ahead and grab it. OK. You should always do this. I don't know. I'm just going to do it because I'm used to it. I'm going to go to my texture set settings and bake mesh maps. Uncheck the ID. Set it to 2048 and load in my FBX. Once I'm done with that, I will bake the textures. Okay. And now, as you can see, I have cube one here. And if I want, I can go add a material and it only affects my cube one texture set list. I can click on cube two. And as you can see in the layer, menu there is nothing there if i go back to cube one i will have my concrete let me go ahead and add a black mask and go into my brushes and just show you that no if i am painting here i will not be able to affect cubes two or three this is just how you use texture sets it's that easy um when you do export these, if you're, say, putting them into Unreal, it will export the normal ambient occlusion and base color to the packaged SSS uh, for every single texture set. Uh, so you have them there. And that's it. Uh, thanks for watching. If this helped you, uh, you know, give it a like, leave a comment. Uh, if it didn't and you have any questions, please comment. I always respond. Uh, 
I guess I'll end it here. Thank you much.